I'm going to say we're talking here in uh, Luxembourg, but of course the FDTH Asia Pacific has a massive event coming up in May. Tell us how the planning is going for that. Right, thank you, Brian. Yes, uh, so we have our uh, event taking place uh, between 17 and 18 May in Bangkok. Um, we expect it to be a pretty large event as, as usual, and uh, uh, we have a full support from the local uh, operators. They're going to come and participate. We are having participations for um, new, some new countries uh, that are getting into FTTH. So we are expecting Cambodia, representatives from Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos and others. We have invited them. So we expect VIPs from them coming in. We also have a very good, nice panel set up of good 40 to 50 speakers from the industry, uh, including uh, very recently confirmed from Google. So we expect somebody very senior from Google coming in and joining us. So it should be a very exciting event for us. That's amazing, yeah. that's amazing. Now, I'm hearing all the time that Asia's leading the world in, in FTTH deployment. You know, what's your, what's your perception of the market at the moment? Well, as, as you know, last year we, we hit the 100 million mark and it came off on a celebration of the 10 year of formation of the FTTH Council Asia Pacific. And then we are very excited that we are, uh, you know, 100 million uh, and, and ticking still. It's still coming very strong. We are from the council side, you know, we are working on a um, lot of the new uh, applications and solutions that we are seeing uh, evolving in the market, uh, such as uh, the NG Pond 2. Uh, we are also looking at, you know, uh, deployments such as in open access networks. Um, so these are some of the interesting things that are happening in Asia Pacific at this moment. Tell us how the work of the council helps the industry move forward. What kind of things do you get involved with? Right. So, so um, recently, you know, we, we have uh, formed a couple of new committees, one of them being the Smart Cities Committee. Another one that we're working on is Fiber as a Service uh, Committee. Uh, these are uh, there to provide white papers. Uh, we uh, talk about the best practices, best standards, and that provides some sort of a guidance to, uh, you know, the industry as to how uh, the FTTH is evolving and, you know, what are the other services that are coming in. And that's how the council contributes uh, to, to the industry. So you're confident that you're going to help keep Asia right at the cutting edge? Well, um, you know, the way we look at it, we are uh, way ahead in numbers and uh, we'll keep on uh, adding more numbers to it year by year. And then so it's, it's 100 million and beyond. Fantastic. Thanks very much for talking to us and best of luck for the event in May. Thank you very much, Brian.